Just today I was told about a story where, you know, a Muslim woman on the bus with her baby and, and the pram and it's taking up space and people are making comments about, oh, well, you know, if she was, that space should be ours. And, you know, that kind of racialization happening in everyday life. I think for many Muslims across Scotland and probably across the UK, it comes as no surprise. It's um, a, an accurate recognition of what is actually going on. Uh, the brevity of the report is, is great. So it covers everything from education, housing, employment, to even the you know institutional nature of Islamophobia, public transport, and also the, the impact of you know government policies and this idea that you know Muslim communities even post-pandemic are still going through some of these challenges. So I think for many of us, it it's harks true to the reality, but also, you know, there's over 40 recommendations in this report, which I think really, um, I guess, are in line with just how severe the issue is and, and how much work is needed to, to make steps forward.